Okay, everything will end with this letter. We'll finally start a new life. Just us. Celine won't be able to bear this. She'll die. I'll die if you don't give her that letter, Kareem. Decide now. It's me or Celine. Kareem? It's half past three in the morning. Can I ask where you're coming from right now? I asked you a question, Kareem. Can I just be honest? Please do. It's really for your own good at this point. I'm listening to you. Where are you coming from? From my ex-girlfriend. I understood that you were coming from a woman. A married man can't be out that late for any other reason than that. But I'm not sure she's your ex anymore, is she? She already was. And she became my ex-girlfriend forever tonight. Did she manage to smash your car too? It doesn't look like it's hit from behind. But it can't be her who did this to your face. You obviously had a fight with someone. Well, her cousins got involved as well. So why did you two break up? We broke up way before Celine. She couldn't accept it. She couldn't live with it. Live with the breakup? That I love Celine. You love her? That was what she couldn't accept. So do you really love my daughter? Why don't you answer me, son? Because I'm really not sure you'll believe me. You really love my daughter. Can I believe this? Miss Natalia, look. I love Celine. I love her more day by day. I'd do anything to make her survive this. If you think I want something in return for any of this, this love, I don't. I want nothing at all. Nothing. Believe it or not, I just want to be with Celine for as long as I can. Thank you for your honesty, Kareem. All right. Celine won't find out that you were out. That can stay between the two of us. Thank you, madam. Now go upstairs before she finds out that you were out, and good night. Good night.
My sister's right. You said so many mean things to her. You kicked Kareem out fine. Did you have to kick her out as well? Don't be ridiculous. I didn't kick her out. Yes, you did. You told her to leave and that she did you no good. I said that because I was angry. I didn't mean it. Pray that she comes back or we're doomed. We still didn't pay the rent. The landlady came again. Thank God. Thank God she's here. Don't make her angry again. Welcome home, my dear. Oh, Anna. My dear, you should have let me know that you weren't coming home last night. I was extremely worried about you all night long. Well, here I am. Where were you? Were you with Ken? No, I wasn't with Ken, Mom. I stayed at Melissa's. Come on, change and come here to eat breakfast. I'll prepare a potato omelet for you. I'm not hungry. You don't eat anything. You've lost way too much weight. Do you have a class again? Never mind, don't go. Just call in sick and rest here at home. Ms. Miriam? Ah, there she is. Mother? I've already given you the rent. What did you do with it? Anna, well, Sarah had so many needs for school. She had to buy books and stuff, so I went and bought them with the money you gave me instead. Ms. Miriam! I'm coming! Which? Take this and pay the rent. Let me actually do you some good. 